Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here, and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved with some more Calibus Cababalus, <laughs> the horse map. Uh, I get a stick. Every time I say the name of this map, there's always someone saying it. it's someone else. So I, I just like to say different words now. Um, we're back and we look a little bit different. So when we did the base tours, Syntax made the little action figure of me and he used the hockey mask, which, uh, you know, it kind of represents Axe uh, and, and mini Axe over there. I just don't like it that much because you can't paint it white. I don't like the color it is. You can only paint the like the blood splatter and stuff and... I don't really like the hair that goes with it, and I have too much neck showing, but I thought I'll try it out. Do you not like this look better, or do we prefer just me with a beard and the little ice cream cone hat on? You'd have to let me know. We're going to use this today. Um, it's definitely unique. Like, I've got the pinky purple hair. Like We look very much like Miniax right now. If we, if we go together, I just wish the hair wasn't in my eyes. I wish it was more like that. But um, yeah, I thought I'd try a different style and stuff. But um, yeah, anyways, today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be breeding some Carnos. Uh, we tamed that <laughs> we tamed that 180 Carno at the end of uh, last episode. So we actually went out. We got ourselves a Phyla, which was like a one... Uh, where is this? Yeah, 168. So it wasn't the greatest one, but it was a half decent Phyla. And as we was coming home, we ran into Jim. We also ran into this 180 Carno. And obviously we can't pass that opportunity up. So we're going to actually use this female. We're going to breed it with the random males we have in the base and get a, ourselves an imprinted Carno. And then we're actually going to head back into the swamp cave because I want to just kind of get like, uh, what's the word? I want to get the drops. I want to um, 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 farm. That's what I'm looking for. I want to farm some of the drops because I have a little thing I want to build and set up for the guys in the next coming episodes. What is going on down there? Holy dicks, that's a lot of wolves. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of wolves just here. Um, all right. Jim or someone is breeding a lot of wolves. We'll just leave that as it is. But uh, yeah, I want to farm some drops because I want to use them as sort of prizes. I'm not going to tell you exactly what we're doing because I know you lot. You lot will go over to their channels and start spoiling it. So I'm not going to tell you exactly what we're doing, but there will be prizes. When It's going to be... Hmm... How do I explain it without spoiling it? They're, they're going to be trapped. They're going to have to get through stuff. Um, oh, ooh, what are you? Uh, yeah, it's just going to be like a little thing they're going to have to do, but there will be a little reward uh, after it. Hello, Mr. Sir. How are you? Are you are you doing good? Are you stuck? Do I to help you? Has that helped you at all? There we go. Is that better? There we go. Look, I can bring you out here and you will no longer be stuck. There we go. No need to thank me or anything. Cool. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, right. Uh, let's jump into it then. So we're going to breed some Carnos up. But before we do that, then, if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure you are whacking a like. Make sure you're subscribing, you're ringing the bell, and every notifications, following all them social medias. Oh, I do love this dance. It goes really well with uh, my, my mask now, doesn't it? <laughs> right. So let's go grab the Carno then. Uh, Odin, you know what? You can come with me. Uh, you weren't on my last adventure for some reason. I think I just completely forgot to put you on my shoulder. I like it when you're with me. I need a bit of company. So, let's chuck yous out just here. So this is one we tamed. This is the 180. And we do have some males uh, that are just chilling here. I'm guessing these are just spare creatures. We've got a parasaur. We've got Milk Me Daddy. We've got Bilba, the beaver. And then a couple of Carnos. So, let's get this male one, which is a, it's a 290. I mean, I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it was a max level as well, because the boys around here like to tame the max levels. Come on, Carno. Nope. Do I have to Pokeball you? All right. No, maybe? No? Is it just Jim's house too big? Okay, cool. <laughs> so let's throw you out here. How am I... I am I'm always thirsty. I am thirsty just all the time on this server. I swear. Okay, let them do breeding. I have no water in me. Jug! Let's just go fill that up. Let's get some moisture in us. God damn. Right. Drink. There we go. Is that better? I'm just thirsty 24-7 when I play on here. I'm never like that on any other server. I just... Uh, I don't know. Okay. You know, I'm kind of excited to see what a baby kind of looks like. Because these things are kind of cute. <laughs> I mean, I don't really like Carnos. They're not the prettiest creatures with the weird, stupid arms. But um, I can imagine a baby one's kind of cute. Uh, okay, are you going to be picked up by Summer? I'll tell you what. We can go 
Should we let him breed a few times? All right, let's let him breed a few times. Can I have this pick eggs up? Uh, options. Uh, this one. Fertilize their collection. Oh, wait. We can't do that? Wait, I'm confused. Do we not have that enabled? Wait a second. Why do we not have that enabled? We can't just have babies raised in here. Oh, do we want to... Do we put them in a hatchery instead? Um, okay. That's interesting. Every server I play on, you just have the, uh, the soul terminal pick them up and it incubates them. Okay, we're not doing that. Apparently, there's... I think we have a hatchery over there. We can pop them in there. Or don't we have, like, an egg incubating thingamadoodle, which I've never played around with? We could play around with that instead. All right, let's get this last egg. We'll have three eggs. We can pick between them. If we get a mutation, obviously, we're going to take that one. But we can find what stats are best. Because this is going to be my main car now. Until we find a filer or another horse, this is going to be my main dude to get around on. And last egg. Let's disable your mating right now. Cool. All right, you can go away, uh, spare Carno. I guess you can go down this little alleyway and just do whatever alleyway Carnos do. Okay, let's go over here then. Let's go see how this thing works because I have never played around with this before. Um, it's an egg incubator. So do I just put it in? Slot one. And that's incubating it, right? Slot one, slot two, slot three. Okay. Oh, yeah, look. That's a male. Oh, so I've never seen this. So, um, zero mutations. Zero mutate. Oh, no, they're the parents. How do I find out if the baby has a mutation? Does it does not? Oh, it says the egg. 243, 263, and a 251. Okay... So, what do these arrows mean? <laughs> uh, hatch egg requires 100%. Uh, I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Have some peace of mind while you incubate your eggs. Eggs that normally must be hatched underwater require the incubator to be underwater. Interesting. All right. Um, I mean, like, like, how do we use this? Who's used this before? Tell me how we use this so I know in future. It looks cool. Can I just grab it? Um, I want to hatch. Like, if I take it out. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There are two five ones. So there are twins. I have no souls balls left. God damn it. Is there soul balls in here? Can I just borrow a few? No. I guess I can craft some, right? We have crystal. Cool. God, I was not prepared for this at all. All right, so we hatched uh, slot one eggs. Got a couple, couple twins there. So if I click you... Hatch. There we go. Hatch. You gotta click on them. We got twins again? Okay. And then boom. Alright. So now we can have a look at them in here. So uh 251 has came out as lost a load of stats. That one came out 251, lost a load of stats. That one lost melee. That's not good. That one lost everything. Cool. They were terrible carnos. Uh we wanna keep a melee, we wanna keep our health. None of them really did that. Right. Well, I guess what? You guys are going to breed again. Mr. Alleyway Carno, come here. So, we'll have you breeding again. Let's get like three, four more eggs and we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, these aren't the worst. Uh, only losing two points into melee there is not that bad. That loses nine points into health. That lo lost nine points into health. That lost two into melee, but a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, I think if we just kind of get a couple more, we can find one that's a little bit better. Because these dudes are going to be good still. And we're not here to breed for the ultimate best stats. We just want a fast carnivore that's going to be able to get us around the map, get us in and out of the cave real fast, and get a shit ton of loot. That's what we're aiming for. Okay, cool. So, I'll do three more eggs. I'm going to... I wanted to pick that up. And then we'll pop them into that machine again. Maybe, should we do five... Actually, how many does this hold? Does this hold ten? Should we do 10 eggs and then just pick our best one? Yeah, we could do that. Should I make more soul balls? I might need to make more soul balls. All right, here comes the 10th and final egg. Cool, right, let's fill this bad boy up. So we're going to chuck all of these in here like so. Okay. I do like the way this thing looks, man. It is pretty cool. Um, So, male egg 256. Um, so, 
Are the stats... Are like, these the baby stats that are on the right? 28... That's got 37 health. That seems really good. 37 health, 28 health, 28, 28. So what about melee? Where's the melee? 36, 38... What's that one? 36... Ooh, that one's got, like, a little pink. Is that an imp... Oh, please tell me that's a mutation of the pink. <gasps> I hope it is. I don't know what slot that is. Well, um, right, so let's hatch all of them probably gonna be loads of uh twins and triplets so we'll whack them all into a soul ball then we can actually check out all this stuff for reals um is there a pink there is pink horns i think that's a mutated i think we got a mutated pink one and you know me i love the pinks i love the purples and the cyans as well oh boys i think we just got a mutated carno we did uh into stamina uh crap we lost a bit of melee but it's got pink horns so that lost health for melee that lost health that lost health for melee that one didn't that's a good one 37 30 i wonder if we could breed that with the pink one to keep some of the better stats uh lost 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 so we oh okay so these two the 261 uh there was another one somewhere anyways this one is good and obviously our mutate one's good cool uh i could actually get rid of the other ones right what we'll do then i think i'll raise up them two and then maybe we can breed them do we have like a nanny anywhere or am i gonna have to do this myself i feel like we had a nanny here right where's everything gone <laughs> if we got like a breeding area now that i'm just not aware of let me just have a look Maybe where all them wolves were is like a new thing. We have this extension on the building here that I've not actually seen. Is this where we breed babies? Um, what is this place? I've not seen this. Is this enough one of Evo's builds? What? Where am I? How do I get into there? Okay. So I think this is just grinding up dead creatures. So they're the parasols. This thing looks freaking cool though, man. Um, oh, okay. Right, so this is just where we get polymer and all the element stuff. Huh. Okay. That's massive, but really cool. I like that. Okay, well, I guess we'll just raise these the good old-fashioned way. So, um, yeah, I'll get them raised up. And, uh, yeah, we can... Do I want to breed them once more? Maybe... I might do. I might, actually. Okay, well, we'll see what happens here. And I'm thirsty again. I'm always thirsty, man. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. All right. We are back. And both the Connors are raised up. Uh, they're fully matured and stuff, ready to breed. And uh, I found something out when I was just kind of knocking about the base. We have these terminals just here. Carno line, Carno colors. I'm going to guess... Uh, I, I want to say it's Evo because I feel like Evo really went ham with the Carnos. There is a lot of colorful Carnos in here. Um, there's a yellow purple there's a cyan color one we could like breed with these and get some colors we wanted um so like there's a sign there so let's see which one we got so this is what we have it's very hard to tell but we do have pink horns um i don't know if it's just the i mean you can kind of see there they look very red that's the only issue they are very red so what we're gonna do uh we not that we can get rid of this guy uh, so this is our girl, so I'm just going to double check. So, yeah, the horn color mutation is that one just there. So, we're actually going to mix up some colors here. Right now, I don't care. I think these are all good stats-ish. I don't care too much about the stats right now, even though I did before. But what we're going to do, we're going to pick and select some of these colors. So there's definitely uh, a heavy yellow theme going on. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, right, we're going to have a look at some of these. So that's like a salmon color. That's got yellow as cyan. Imagine some pink horns on that. Uh, this has a yellow and a purple. That's got cyan horns. I definitely want to keep my pink horns for sure. Uh, the only problem is these are all girls, right? Maybe we can breed that one with you. Uh, we've got yellow and green. A cyan body with pink. That would be perfect. Uh, okay, cool. All right, for, for just now, <laughs> this is going to turn into a whole breeding episode. And I really didn't want it to be like that. So we're going to breed my girl first. 
with uh let's see if we can get where's this color region is this the body oh it is okay let's see if we can get the cyan body with the pink horns let's see if that's something we can do first because that would be beautiful all right enable mating and then enable mating so we'll do a couple eggs from you hatch them up see what happens oh man and then uh this one so that this has like a, a salmon top of it mm, i don't know it's nice but yeah i don't don't think we want that one this has yellow inside and i'm sure the yellow is gonna be very vibrant holy shit that's very cyan i think that's a little too much i kind of like the black and the red there maybe uh did we not have yeah this purple one purple and yellow uh i mean that's a bit nicer if we had that purple body with the red with the cyan on top and the pink horns that might be the one okay let's go and chuck these other ones back uh so that was this very cyan -y one didn't really care for that one too much uh you just had a weird color okay let's pop that one back nice all right so egg is is gonna hatch cool <laughs> nice um right you didn't have any colors so you're poopy all right i guess we'll just chill here do i have any more soul balls i have a few more soul balls let's just wait till we get some uh, we need a female we need a female with the cyan and the pink all right let's just sit here until we get that okay we're back with a little update so we're going to switch things up a little bit so we managed to get a brand new uh, mutation uh into weight kept the health and the melee uh it's green and it's pink and it looks pretty cool uh, i know it's dark so we might not be able to see it too well but it looks freaking cool so we've got the pink horns we've got the uh the green on the back now we was trying to get um well i think we was trying to get a, a female or a male whatever to get that purple body i did just have a look back in the uh, the little cardo color place and we do have a female with the purple body so we're gonna let this dude grow up so he's got the pink horns the green top and then we're gonna have it breed with this one see if we can get the purple top uh with the green with the pink and then that's gonna be our carno um done as much as i could be bothered to uh the only thing we don't get is the red under which i don't even know if you if that's a mutation um what we're saying because there's one two three four it must be i just don't think there is any mutations on any of them unless it's that orange uh, yeah it always seems to be orange orange ready color it must be number five uh that one's kind of got a, a pinky purple onto it you know i don't really care because i kind of like the red there so yeah um this is what we taped up she, she's out of order now don't need her anymore i will take that saddle just uh in case i need to move them around but uh good shit pink horns you can actually go in here in case we need you another time you can join the colors cool so uh yeah we're gonna raise him up we're gonna breed them with her i'll bring it back once we've got the colors we need and then we can maybe look to make a good saddle and then we can finally go to the cave and do what i actually set out to do um i didn't realize we was gonna be breeding for colors today <laughs> okay we are back it actually didn't take that long at all uh this is what we started with so we've only had a few babies we did get a new mutation again uh we actually got this one just here which got us a health mutation it doesn't look too bad either so we've got the green we got like a gray color we've got the pink horns uh, and then obviously this is the one that we actually aimed for so if we're looking at the stat wise this gets the, a bit more health loses a tiny bit of melee this one loses a bit of melee bit of food bit of weight um okay we'll just go this last one just here you don't have the pink horns all right let's stop use breeding right now so i'll throw both of them out so we can have a look at them it's now daytime as well so this is the little gray one we actually got twins uh so this is the female so we've got to choose do we like this one which it does look cool i really do like its legs so we've got like the green on top the pink horns it's got like a gray skin the red underneath or the one we was actually aiming for which is this one just here does lose a little bit of melee the other one obviously gains a bit of health and we have this one which is pink uh, i don't know 
I think I like this one more. I might keep both of them, honestly. I don't know. The grey one, like, the colours are just more oomph, you know? Especially the the yellow we going into the red, like, on its legs. Oh, I don't know. I love both of them. I, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep them both. Uh, we'll take this one out first. I think I like this one. But I do like this one as well. Oh, I don't know. I like both of them. God damn it. All right, what we're going to do, we'll let them grow up. I'm going to see, do we have a Carno Blueprint saddle at all? Because that would be amazing. So saddles, Carno. No, that's not that. Uh, let's have a look in here. Do we have any Carno saddles here? No. Okay, interesting. Do we definitely not have any good Carno saddles? Um, so this is the Carno line. Is there any saddles on use? Oh, interesting. I thought we, by now, we had, like, good saddles in all of them. All right, looks like we're going to use the bog standard saddle then. Oh, man. Look at these things. Freaking adorable. All right, so what we'll do, I'll uh, bring you back once they're fully raised. We're going to go into the cave. Maybe we'll get a Carno saddle from getting some loot drops today. We're going to literally go into that, that swamp one over there and, uh, get that nice easy one if the kind of fits that is we'll, we'll see what happens <laughs> all right we're back we're heading to the swamp cave uh there's that red drop that's kind of really early on also we, we this is not a good idea right landing in the swamp on foot that this is probably a terrible idea uh you know what it's fine right what we're gonna do we're gonna chuck out you because you're the one that's got the saddle on i think this is my purple one are you the purple one you are the purple one. Oh, God damn, look at this thing. This is so cool, man. So we've got the green, the pink, and the purple. All right. And let's go... What is this? Is this just a little freeway? Oh, it is. Cool. All right, cool. Let's um, find a creature to headbutt or bite so we can see how much damage we're actually doing and look for this cave, which I'm pretty sure is just a little further up here. Creatures? Any, any swamp creatures knocking about? Any swamp creatures alive today? The swamp is normally a nasty place to be. There we go. There's a baryonyx. Ooh, you look different. Oh, you a paleo barra? God, you look cool. Uh, 215. Right click. Seal 215. Okay. We actually do a knockback on you. Cool. No idea what level you were, Mr. Barra. Okay, I thought we might do a bit more damage. But I guess we're not leveled up or anything just yet. Because uh, the one we got from Eva was doing like, what? 325 or some shit. Okay. I mean, it's it's more than the horse. Zuko only does like 80 damage or something like that. Alright, cool. Um, is this where we're meant to be going? Oh, no, there it is. That little little area just in front of us. That's where we've got to get up. Uh, Alright, so level-wise, let's give you some melee. I was looking at that like 5,000 health. That's awful. You know when you've been playing um, Supreme... Or Primal Fear, Docs, or something like that. <laughs> and then you come to, like, vanilla, vanilla-ish series. 500, or 5,000, sorry, does not feel like much health at all. But it's it's fine. It's it's more than enough. All right, let's see what happens here. Are you going to be a little bit too big to fit through here? No, that's that's easy. Uh, this door, however... Oh, no, we get through here as well. Perfect. Uh, okay, that scared me a bit. If we can just fit down here... Oh, really? We can't squeeze through this bit? I mean, that's fine. If we can bring all the creatures over here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't spit at me, Mr. Arthros. This is fine, though, because we can just kill all the stuff at the entrance. Kill you. Kill you. And then we can just literally run up and grab that. That kind of works. All right, snakes. Come on, then. Get to me. I don't think we can throw them out with the soul balls, either. I will try it. Come on, snakes. Let's go. I don't know why you're struggling to get through here. Come on. Do I have to shoot you? Can I shoot on the back of a car? No, I cannot. All right. I'm dead. I see a bat, but it didn't want to come for me. All right, let's I see you there. Why are you not, like, fighting me? All right. So what we'll do, we'll pop you in a Pokeball, and then we throw you out there, right? Oh, yeah. Wait, can't fit. Oh, yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No Mr. Bat, no Mr. Bat, no Mr. Bat. So I can't throw him out at all. Interesting. Can I throw him out here? No. Hiya! 
That's more than enough room. Okay, interesting. So I, now I can't just throw it out anywhere, right? Ah. Oh. So what we might have to do is breed the Kano inside there. Okay, so I can fit him in here. What about Zuko? Can Zuko squeeze through? Like the main obje objective was to get the Kano's in here, but... Oh, I, I can fit through here. But, I mean, this works. Okay, all you fall down there. I can kill all the bats, right? And there's the drop I need. Um, right? I can kill these bats with the horse. Maybe. Kick them out. These are high-level ones. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> oh, God, there's so many bats. There's only three of them there. There's some more down below as I see them. Okay. I've got mega rabies. Cool. I didn't bring any health potions. I didn't think you get rabies on the back of a creature. Huh. Okay. Come on, bat. That's it. Stay there. Nope. Okay. We, we, we won't die. I'm sure we won't die. All right. Let's kill this last bat. Is it going to be better for me just to shoot you? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. All right. We're a bit contagious. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab this. Grab that stuff there. We did get another rifle. Uh, don't fall down. Don't fall down, Zuko. And then what we do, we just kind of run out here. Heal up. Make sure we're not dying. And then we just wait for that thing to uh, respawn. And it normally respawns pretty quick. Okay. Sweet. That worked. Right, let's have a quick look at what we just got first. Uh, a 276 rifle. Our rifle already is a 378, a silencer, a helmet, and some pants. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you're not going to die, right? Just eat this and not die. Uh, you can have some more melee Zuko there. Okay, sweet. Right, Um. so... I guess the way, the best way to do it is aggro creatures, pull them to that little spot and let the Kano just like finish them off. I think that's the best way to do it. But if you wanted to cheat the system, then yeah, you were, what the titties just happened then? If you wanted to cheat the system, then you breed your Kanos and uh, have a baby like fit in here, which I might do. I might go, hmm, yeah, I don't know. Because then we can literally just stand in here, use the Kano to kill everything. And it'll be super easy. All right, so I went back and I got one of the babies. Now, where can we from out? Can we from out here? All right, so I think we literally have to from out here. And hope it can get through there. No, it can't fit here. Can't fit here. It definitely can because we threw a creature out here already. There we go. Cool. Right, let's see then. Can this baby Kano... I don't know if it's going to be able to get over this hump. Uh, where even are you? Baby? Oh, there you are. Right. I want you to follow me as close as possible. Uh, lowest. Yeah, I think we might struggle to get over this little hump here. No, come on. Come on. Just got to get through this dorm. Come on, Carno. You, you are not in the right place this way. Okay, let's try this again. Come over here. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, okay. This is working. And then just down here. All we've got to do is get him into the doorway. Make sure none of the creatures have re respawned in. And then let, let's let him grow in there. I've already bought a saddle with us. So I can pop it in. Has... Oh, oh, there's a dung beetle. Is anything res... Bat, that's a 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 bat. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I got rabies again. Oh god. Oh, there's a snake as well. Oh, this is terrible. Baby, don't die. Baby, don't die. Baby, don't die. Oh, I, oh, I killed him. <laughs> I killed the baby. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Right. <laughs> Shot the baby in the face. Right, I'm going to try this one more time. What I need to do is um, run down, clear it out, go up, put it back there. God damn. Stupid spiders and stuff. Reload. Reload. Game. Get right. Game. I'm going to need you to... Re you reloaded, did you? All right, cool. Right. It's the drop back whilst we're here. Jeez. Uh, it is here. Cool. Perfect. Right, we can grab this. Now you bet if this rock gets out of the way. Come on. Give us some good stuff. Chainsaw, shotguns. 
Oh, actually, I I don't know if anyone's got one, but the other day, since I did say we need a pump action shotgun blueprint, two six seven, that could be decent. Okay, right, we're gonna try it one more time. <laughs> We're going to try this one more time. Um, I should have brought multiple babies. We've got the saddle. We've got some meat. Okay. Kano, stay there. We'll come down. I'll kill stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Last time we get this done. All right. Any creatures in here yet? I don't think so. Nope. Yep. There's a bat. There's a bat. There's a bat. Baby, baby, get out the way. Baby, get out the way. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, that's a cat pro. Right. Baby, stay there. I need this. Okay. Baby, stay there. Just, just stay there. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, dung beetle. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I guess that's what blood moon is. Everything just aggroes to you, right? Oh, my God. Come on, then. Come on, then. It's the strongest dung beetle I've ever seen. So, <laughs> we do have to make sure we get an imprint on you. When's your imprint? Oh god, there's that thing still. What what are you? Oh, it's a spider. Jump again. Ah! How did I get leeched? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, I need some fire, man. Um Alright, I wanted to see. Nine minutes it was. Okay. So if I just leave and come back in nine minutes. No, I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna stay here. Can I build a fire? Is that something we can build? All right, we are back for the last time today. And Cave Carno has fully raised up and is obviously in this little lobby area. So now what you can do, you can run into this cave. Uh, what I'll do, I'll probably back him up like here. But you can run into the cave, hop on him, kill the bats, kill the scorpions, whatever else is there real quick. Run up here. Grab your red drop, get out, and you can do that a few times. Easy freaking loot. Now, this only respawns twice, like, pretty quickly, and then it takes a while to uh, spawn back in, so it's not actually uh, coming just yet. But we now have a cave carno in here, and it means we can get loot, um, hopefully, really easily and really quickly. So we'll definitely try him out tomorrow. Uh, we'll make sure even tonight I'll hop on and see what's going on. But yeah, I'm going to back him up just here. Uh, he shouldn't be on passive. Let's have you on attack my target. Uh, Leveling wise, have a bit of health, I guess. So uh, yeah, you'll be able to run down here, quickly hop on in before anything aggroes to you. And that should be all good. I think we could actually even get him up and around here, maybe. I don't know. I kind of just want him in here for this easy uh, red drop instead of having to use ammo and all the other all the other stuff. So sweet. Perfect. There's Cave Carno done. Uh, this is our Paleo Carno. So we're just going to have a little tiny, very quickly run around on this Carno, kill some more stuff, get some more levels because uh, we've been very focused on breeding, very focused on just stuff that I didn't really want to do today, but I just got, I got lost in the source, man. God, it's very bright out here. I've been lo <laughs> lost in that cave for so long. Oh, man. All right. So, um, I'm dehydrating <laughs> once again. I'm just forever dehydrating, man. Where's some water? All right, there is a Connor right in front of us. Let's test that metal against you. So, 2-2-2 two, two, two damage we're doing on the Parasaurs. Why is that raptor just standing there? It's now dead. Why was he just standing there? Was he, like, scared? All right, Mr. Carno, I am no longer scared of you. God, God, look at the colors on this in the daytime. Oh, we are beautiful. Oh, this is a high-level dude. That was a 174. Oof. Okay. Uh, can I drink some of this water without being leached, caprode, or any of the above? Perfect. I thought I heard something. I don't like it. Uh, Dynonicus. That was the other thing that was going to get me. Of course it was. Yeah, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Nice. All right. We can definitely give us 10 levels into melee. 5 7 tear. Let's go and attack this raptor with beautiful freaking feathers here. So two five nine. now we're doing. That seems way better. We could definitely get this to uh, 300. Another beautiful raptor. 259. Do the knockback. Do the bleed. Bro, this is what we've been looking for. This is what we've been looking for. Now all we need is a high level phyla. Get the breeding. Get the colors. All right, we're going to be able to see our colors properly good here now. Look at that. 
So yeah, pink horns, green on top, purple body. This is beautiful. This is so colorful and I love him so much. Ah, oh, I do like that gray one as well though. <laughs> I really do. I don't know why. I love the purple, but the gray just makes the other colors so much more popping. All right, you're a high level as well. What is going on today? There's high level creatures everywhere apparently. All right, let's finish you off. We'll make our way back to base. I'll just kind of like kill a bunch of stuff. Do this 114. We'll kill a bunch of stuff. I'll get as many levels as we can. We can see how much uh, damage we're doing by the end of it. All right, I think I found what we're looking for. There is a... Uh, oh my god, can you get off the side of me? There is an alpha raptor in front of us. And we should be able to take it on. So we're doing 270 damage right now. We've got 5,000 health. We'll be able to take that on, right? Just an alpha raptor. We got the knockback. We got the bleed. That's going to give us some good levels. All right, sir. Final little battle today. So yeah, only just 23 damage. We do 270. Bit of bleed. Bit of knockback. Just got to make sure the bleed doesn't kill it or we don't get any XP. So keep knocking him back. Uh, try to... Oh, you know, actually, we don't even need the knockback. The left click also knocks him back. God, the Kano's are OP as shit, man. Can we see what level you were, Mr. Raptor? You're a 114. Okay. You're packing a bit more of a punch than a foil. No, 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 no. What are you doing? You are fighting me. Don't eat him. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a lot of Dynonicus. Hello. Hello. Uh, guys, I want to kill this raptor. Uh, don't touch him. We didn't get the kill. We didn't kill the raptor. I think a Dynonicus got it or our blood did. God damn it. Ah, oh, <laughs> we just spent all that time fighting it. We didn't even get the kill. God damn. I think that bag's from him, right? Yeah, there's the Alpha Raptor. What do we get? Wow, amazing stuff. Uh, all right, we've got a couple of levels from the Dynonicus at least. All right, so 610. I'm not actually going to put that much health into this dude. I feel like I just want him as more of a powerhouse. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Um, all right, let's just fight one last little thing to see what damage we're doing now. We've got that little boost. Is there uh, any loot in that little thing just there? Nope. All right, and 277. That's that's great. That's amazing. And there we go then. So I'm just going to quickly show off the Carnos we got. So after spending the day breeding, we managed to get these two bad boys then. So are they both girls, actually? You're a girl. You're a girl. So what I'm going to need, I'm going to need some name suggestions. Uh, definitely for this one. This is my main one. If anything was to happen, we would switch out to the grey one. But uh, yeah, name suggestions for them in the comments. That would be much appreciated. Oh, man. They're so cool. Just the green mutation we got. The pink horns. Oh, everything is just mwah, chef's kiss. So, uh, yep. We've got some cardos. They, allow, you know, they can go around and eat stuff now. We've got a cave cardo, which I wasn't planning on doing, but we did. And, uh, oh, yeah, let's have a quick look at the loot we got then. So, oh, I did want to check. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we do wrap it up, I did want to just see if we did have a shotgun just yet. Um, no, I don't think we do. I think that's the first shotgun. I contributed. I think I contributed. Um, do we have... I don't think it'd be anywhere in there. Uh, I don't think it'd be anywhere here. Because, yeah... Yeah, yeah, we definitely contributed. Hell yeah, boys, we did a, we did a thing. We are the, the main guy of the tribe now. <laughs> We're the MVP. All right, anyways, if you did enjoy the episode, make sure you did uh, whack a like. Make sure you subscribe, you ring the bell. You never need notifications. Follow the social medias. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for hanging out. I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.